Ah, the digital age, where even the most innocent of actions, like charging your adult toy through your computer's USB port, can lead to an unforeseen cyber threat. Now, before you spill your morning coffee in surprise, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep this old man happy and alive. Imagine, if you will, a fine morning, much like this one, where an individual, much like yourself, albeit with a recently purchased adult toy from a reputable mall store, decides to give their new gadget a bit of charge via their trusty computer. Little did they know, this simple act of charging would set the stage for an unexpected digital adventure. Our tale begins in the depths of Mordor. Uh, sorry, I meant Reddit. The protagonist of our tale noticed something peculiar after their attempt to charge the aforementioned device. The computer began acting as if it had consumed one too many cups of coffee, downloading an unidentified file by itself once the user opened his web browser. With a sense of intrigue and a dash of apprehension, they delved deeper, employing tools of the trade, Joe Sandbox and Triage, to peel back the layers of this digital onion. What they found was a concoction more bitter than a poorly brewed espresso, malware. Upon analysis, this wasn't just any malware. It was identified as part of the Luma family, a notorious group known for its sophisticated tactics and malicious intentions. This particular strain had the capability to turn a mundane day into a cyber nightmare, engaging in activities that would make even the most seasoned hacker blush, from pilfering personal information to eavesdropping on your daily activities, this malware was akin to a digital poltergeist, haunting the corridors of your computer's system without so much as a peep. Now, you might wonder, how did such a nefarious entity find its way into an innocent computer through a simple act of charging? The answer lies in the dark corners of what's known as a supply chain attack. It seems our beloved device had been compromised before it even left the shelf. A Trojan horse in silicone disguise waiting for an unsuspecting victim to grant it access to new realms. This tale serves as a stern reminder of the digital age's hidden perils. It's a world where even the most benign actions, like charging an adult toy, can lead to unexpected consequences. It underscores the importance of exercising caution and skepticism, much like when questioning the strength of a suspiciously light cup of coffee. Obviously, the online realm went nuts with chatter following the revelation, with many a folk turning to platforms like Reddit to share their astonishment and insights. Let's explore some of the community's reaction to this post. One Reddit user said, Bro, the XML in that file is wild. It's like auto-generated. I am going to extract the MSI and see what's up. So the MSI contains an XE with a name like ASDF 5 bidot xe and has a RAR icon. It checks for a debugger. I think it does process hollowing or some other sort of persistence technique. I need to read a ton of things I forgot. It's been forever since I have done this, so I am rusty. I am still reading the stuff it does. I extracted the strings and it's using a bit of math for something, maybe encryption. This is where things get interesting. Just when you thought our story couldn't brew any more surprises, we uncover not one, but two files that add a whole new layer of complexity. Installer Advance Installer Genius V4, this file, reminiscent of a recipe for a particularly potent espresso, is actually a vessel for the Luma Info Stealer. For the uninitiated, imagine inviting someone into your home to fix your coffee machine, only to find they've rifled through your personal documents, made a copy of your house key, and left a window unlocked for good measure. That's Luma for you, sneaky, invasive, and with a penchant for taking what's not theirs. It's a stark reminder of the importance of knowing exactly what you're inviting into your computer.
Mia Khalifa, 18 plus MSI. Now, this file, with a name that might raise eyebrows or elicit chuckles, is nothing to laugh about. It's ransomware, a digital kidnapper of sorts, taking your precious files hostage and demanding a ransom for their return. Like finding out your favorite coffee shop is secretly serving decaf, the realization hits hard. It's a cruel trick, preying on curiosity and leaving chaos in its wake. Imagine, if you will, that the Luma info stealer, much like a seasoned barista, first takes its time to understand the environment, the preferences, the daily routines, and the valuable secrets hidden within the computer. It's in no rush, meticulously gathering data, passwords, and perhaps financial information, all the while remaining as unobtrusive as the aroma of a morning coffee. Once it has pillaged enough to its satisfaction, or perhaps triggered by a specific condition, such as a certain amount of data collected, a command received from a remote server, or even the detection of an attempt to remove it, that's when the ransomware part of the operation could be initiated. The ransomware in this analogy is akin to a sudden switch from a gentle morning brew to a harsh, unexpected shot of liquor. It doesn't subtly gather. It overtly attacks, encrypting files and demanding a ransom. This one-two punch can be devastating, combining the stealthy exfiltration of sensitive information with the brute force trauma of denying access to one's digital life. However, it's crucial to note that while the scenario of an info stealer laying the groundwork for a subsequent ransomware attack is plausible, it's not always the standard modus operandi. Each strain of malware has its own behaviors, triggers, and objectives. Some campaigns might deploy both tools in tandem, aiming to maximize damage and profit. Others might use them independently, depending on the attacker's goals, the specific vulnerabilities they wish to exploit, and the defensive measures they encounter. In our case, without diving into the technical reports and analyses provided by the cybersecurity community, it's challenging to confirm with certainty if the Luma info stealer directly leads to the activation of the ransomware. However, the presence of both on a single device certainly indicates a sophisticated and multifaceted attack strategy designed to exploit, extort, and perhaps even distract. Have you ever encountered a bizarre source of malware, or do you have a favorite cybersecurity tip? Share your stories and tips over a cup of coffee in the comments below. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe my own cup of coffee deserves a refill and perhaps a thorough scan for any unwanted digital guests. My fellow seekers of the hidden truths, delving into the Internet's most shadowy corners is a task both time-consuming and wearying. Why not buy this old storyteller a cup of coffee so I may continue my nocturnal researches for your intrigue? If your heart calls you to contribute, the pathways to support us via PayPal, Bitcoin, or credit cards through Stripe lie waiting in the video description. Your generosity fuels our explorations into the night. For those who tread with us in spirit or in contribution, your companionship is the greatest treasure. Do share in the comments below if there lurks another dark tale you wish to unveil together. I thank you for your company on this journey into the shadows. Farewell for now, and I shall await your return in our next video, where we'll continue to tread the hidden paths of the unknown.